In today's episode, I'm going to be showing you three of my favorite puzzles and telling you why I like them. There's some really interesting intricacies about each of them. I'll show you the solution and tell you why it is so unique and well thought through. As you can see, there is no Tony today. He's out of town actually uh, doing a show and has some other stuff to do. So today you're gonna get a whole bunch of me, Tyler, and I'm gonna be showing you three of my favorite puzzles. The NSP from Jean-Claude Constantine, the Nosy Puzzle from Anteater Toys, and the Dirty Dozen from Puzzle Master. So let's start off with one of my favorites and something fairly recent from Anteater Toys. It's called the Nosy Puzzle, and it's got, uh, it's got, a I think eight pieces, three, five, six, seven, eight. So eight pieces, and you'll notice that um, the two red pieces here are obviously the same, the two green pieces are the same, and then these uh, four yellow ones are all the same. And there's this one orange piece. Now this orange piece, I think, is probably the most beautiful piece of misdirection I've ever seen in a puzzle. I really, really like it because the whole misdirection is that people start this puzzle like that. They figure there's these two knobs and it goes in the corner that way. And so people will start it out and then they'll build like that and like that and like that. And they'll, they'll kind of get around. They'll, they'll, they'll figure out all oh, these other, they, they, there's two of the red ones that fit in like that. And then something there and, uh, and then they'll, they'll put, put it like that and then they'll get to the point where there's one one piece that doesn't fit in they'll always get to that and then they get stuck and they don't know what to do so the fun the, the thing that I really like is that it's that misdirection it's this piece that people figure starts in the corner it makes sense and then they put these on either end right and so that's where everybody starts wrong and so the actual solution to this puzzle now I've got to see if I can, can get it here again um, is no uh, you want to have I know in the, in the solution you want to have these square indent pieces all set into the middle so let's try it out here see what we can do and then there there So that's, that's your main piece. And so even if someone gets to this place, they still might not get the puzzle because obviously it doesn't fit in. But the whole point then, so there's two, essentially two pieces of misdirection. It's starting with this piece in the corner and assuming that all the pieces fit in the, in the orientation you'd think. But the actual orientation to this puzzle is right there. It falls in and it, it shoots in like that. So I love this. I love the misdirection, the double misdirection that first off that that piece starts in the corner, second that all the pieces go in that um, orientation you'd think, that up and down, vertical, whatever you wanna call it, orientation. It is a level nine on the Puzzle Master difficulty rating scale, which runs from five to 10. So it's a, it's a fairly difficult puzzle. I don't know if it totally deserves a level nine rating, but it is it is really, really well thought through and just beautiful misdirection on the nosy. And that's from Anteater Toys. Now you'll all know this puzzle too, the Jigsaw 19. This is very similar to the nosy in terms of the look of it. It's that, that cut acrylic and uh, this one's all corner pieces. I like the nosy because of the misdirection. Jigsaw 19 is a good one, as are the whole Jigsaw puzzle collection. I think Jigsaw 19 is one of my favorites though of it, but it's a very, very similar. But if it was up to me and you, you were you were buying a puzzle, I would buy that nosy. It is, it is an exceptionally made puzzle. Um, second, let's go into NSP. Now NSP is from Jean-Claude Constantine. It's a puzzle I did a video on, a video solution and review on quite a while ago. And uh, in the course of doing that that uh, solution, I just was having so much trouble figuring out what, uh, how to show the solution and just how to, how to explain the moves I was doing. And the, the 
problem for me is that unlike the nosy puzzle or jigsaw 19 where those are kind of like a 2d almost representation you're not moving around so much in three-dimensional space this one had so much movement three-dimensionally that it was hard to to figure out what all was was going on and how to explain that and so it took me some time to do that but this is a, a wonderfully difficult puzzle it's a level nine on the puzzle master difficulty rating scale and it's uh it's essentially just these two bent spikes that are bent around each other and uh, you got to separate them so it's not especially difficult looking but I found it very hard to do because there's uh, just so much freedom in, in all that movement and three-dimensional space movement but uh, it's similar, and I'll start off by showing you this one, but it's similar to the uh, Tangled Nails, which is another puzzle we have here. It's a Puzzle Master puzzle, and uh, it's just essentially two two nails bent around each other. Obviously, they're smaller than the NSP, but uh, and, and there's less bends, so it, it makes it um, a good bit more difficult on the NSP than on this one. But in the course of doing it, I thought it would be similar to this, and it is, but uh, with quite a few more moves to it. So I'll show you this one. It is. Oh. Oh, yeah. All right, right there, there's the move. I always have trouble hit, hitting that move at first. But it's right there, so you go in and out, and uh, essentially it's just kind of that that single single movement. Um, NSP is a good bit harder than that, so uh, it starts out there with the two uh, kind of like the smaller loops in the in the bend hooked on each other, and so you start by. I always try to pay attention to these heads when I'm doing this one and where the the head is because I find for me that was kind of what helped. So you, you move them by each other like that. And there's a spin, and then you spin it up there, and then uh, essentially just around like this, and out. And then I always have trouble, I always have a lot more trouble actually getting this puzzle back together. But um, yeah, it's just, I don't know what it is about it, but I have trouble repeating it, even though I know it. So it, uh, you may not have seen it, but it, I was working on this for a few minutes. Uh, before we shot this and it, it took me some time even just remembering how to do that solution. So that's the NSP from Jean-Claude Constantine. Now the thing I like too is Jean-Claude doesn't do a lot of metal and this is one of the few ones that he has done in metal. Usually Jean-Claude stuff is mostly wood and uh, I, just, I just love this puzzle. The NSP was so good, so well thought through and just uh, just a, a nice one to do and it's, it's good and heavy duty. Now last, I wanna talk about the Dirty Dozen. Now this is a puzzle we uh, we here at Puzzle Master. This is a Puzzle Master branded puzzle, and we kickstarted it a while back. So a bunch of you may have got it on the Kickstarter campaign. It was paired up with Slideways and the Lattice, and this is not one of the harder ones. Well, it wasn't hard. It was in between. It wasn't as easy as Slideways, and it wasn't as hard as Lattice. But the Dirty Dozen is just wonderful, and I I really like the solution on it. Um, I'm not gonna show you the full solution i'm just going to show you some of the moves because i think it's beautiful in uh in just how they designed it and how it uh how it all manipulates to to solve so often uh, i think people will be looking for just to, how to how to start one piece out and i think you do have to start on the outside obviously but here's the beautiful thing so what, what you want to do is you want to hold the outside piece like that and then you want to let all the pieces kind of fall into place and then if you look on the side here, and it should be all in place properly, assuming this is all, there we go. So this piece here on the end will move up and it comes out like that. So when you hold this outside piece, these ones make the exact right shape for that piece to come out. Now uh, the next piece you do, so you grab another one on this end. And again, same thing, you can pull it up and if all the pieces are in place correctly, it should, there we go, it should slide out just like that. Another piece comes out. So you can uh, take this whole puzzle apart doing that same move. Now, I, I don't know, I don't wanna ruin the whole solution on this one, because uh, I think we should keep some mystery in this, but this is uh, a really awesome solution. And just, I love the fact that uh, all these pieces are, are placed well enough that 
they can they, you can hold this one and it all hangs and the piece comes out it's just a wonderfully beautiful movement on this puzzle and I, I love it in metal too like there's a plastic version of this I think the metal one's better it's a little more heavy the pieces fall easier too I find in the metal one whereas the plastic one they can kind of get caught up in a bit more because the pieces are lighter and and not as uh, not as as heavy as are affected by gravity I guess when you do when you do that that move so that's the uh, dirty dozen from puzzle master it's a level nine on the puzzle master difficulty rating scale and uh, yeah is kind of one of the ones in our new metal line so you should uh, definitely check it out I love that puzzle that's three of my uh, favorite puzzles from puzzle master and uh, I hope you like that Make sure you check us out on Facebook. We have a page there. You can like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the little bell for the subscription, get notification. Check us out on Instagram. You can follow us on Instagram. You'll see lots of our uh, great content on there, pictures and some short videos. But uh, that's the end of Puzzle Time with Tony and Tyler. I am Tyler, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.